Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. How is that even possible? Did we skip days? I don't know, but good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> I was quite delighted. I was very tired. Yesterday was a day. Um, but yeah, good morning, good morning, good morning. I actually, oh my god, I didn't take my makeup off last night or cleanse, which is shocking. Um, but that's how tired I was. Um, and my skin doesn't actually look too bad this morning, so I'm quite grateful to it. So, so far, I've spent my hours awake because I can't really say morning. Um, just tidying, cleaning, deep cleaning the kitchen. We get there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some brunch now and I have a massive headache, so I'm like, mm. but nonetheless, I have a list of things to do, I'm going to get it done, um, so yeah. And two things I'm going to do right now <laughs> is pick up the baubles that Ziggy so far has knocked off. I can't blame him though, he's having the, the best time. <laughs> but yeah, let's pop these back on. I'm sure I'll find a few more to knock off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a double branch. That's where it all went wrong. I was going for a double branch. This is hard to do with one hand. There we go. There's that one. I'm sure there's one more that is. Yes, there is. Oh, somewhere down here. Okay, where should we put this one? Hmm. Maybe we could put that one here. I'm sorry, I'm not showing you that, am I? There you go. Oh, it's a bit of a heavy one. Mm, you don't really get to see it there. The tree started to smell so nice as well. I do need to give it a bit of a bit more of a drink of water. I don't want to put anything too close together. Yeah, they're way too close together. Sorry, I'm not showing you there. Maybe we could put it how about up here? there. Does that look good? I don't know. We'll leave it at that. Right, it's another boring vlogmas day at home. I'm really, really sorry. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe you enjoy this. I don't know. Please let me know in the comments below. But today has been, I don't want to be negative, but I feel like a little bit of a write-off because I've just felt I've been shattered. But meh, anyway, this morning I was like, oh, I'm so excited to have my advent calendar chocolate breakfast. Did I do it? No, I completely forgot. <laughs> of course I did. So let's enjoy that now. Oh, no cat. Let's enjoy that now. Oh my goodness, which one are we on today? Sorry, Ziggy. Are you all right? I didn't mean to wake you up. Are you quite comfy there? Oh, to be a cat that sleeps all day. <laughs> right, what day are we on here? Oh my gosh, we're a few days behind. Is it the 18th today? Ziggy, what day is it? Hang on a sec. Okay, it's the 17th. I've got a couple. I've got a couple. So, 60. Oh. What's that one? Oh. 16th. There we go. Time to hunt for last year's wrapping paper. It's good to do I know where it is. <laughs> And then today is the 17th. Oh, oh, one on the end. That's a tricky one. Let's try and my nails are also very much dead. I really need to redo them. I'm so sad I thought that that Barry M top coat was like a speed dry like. I have been searching for it. Sorry, this is so crinkly. Hang on a sec. Hey, here we go. And it is chocolate helps helps you jingle all the way. Yay! <laughs> I love that. That's really cute. So I was saying about, sorry, Z, I was saying about my nails. Um, I'm, oh God, I've been searching for like a vegan and cruelty food you. This one looks exciting. Um, of the, this is called Seshvi. I'm probably saying that really, really wrong. And I've probably just butchered the name of that. Um, but I have never tried Seshvi if that's how you pronounce it. But I know quite a few people on YouTube speak about it, or it's quite an old school product, I think, to be honest. And it's like a fast dry top coat for your nail polish. So when you've like just painted your nails, put color on or whatever, you pop it over and it just like helps it speed dry, which is ideal because I am always smudging my nail polish. Like it was a miracle I didn't smudge this and I did it in 10 minutes. Like I just can't believe that. 
but I mean, it hasn't lasted very long. This is the thumb that I put the Barry M top coat on. So it is like, it's not as bad as the others, but it's chipping a bit. I mean, and this is the other thumb. I don't know. It's kind of similar. Um, but so anyway, I bought the Barry M one thinking, oh, fast dry top coat. It's basically just a top coat and it says put it on when your colour is dry and then this will dry quickly. And I was like, no. So I have tried Ezzy have one and it's like a little serum one with a dropper. Sorry, this camera's going over my Gorilla Pods like, no, I'm not having it today. Um, but yeah, so I tried the, um, the Ezzy one. Just doing that chocolate out. Hey. Oh no, no, come back. There we go. <laughs> the angel. So I tried the Ezzy one and it, I've nearly used it up. It's pretty decent considering I... Oh, the penguin. Little penguin. So yeah, considering I can't find um, another like vegan and cruelty free dupe, it's decent. It's not awful, but it doesn't really make my nails last very long though. Um, so yeah, if anybody knows of any vegan and cruelty-free dupes for Sesh V, if that's how you say it, I would love to know. So the search continues. Now I'm going to eat these on today's to-do list because we're going to get it all done. Um, I'm going to go and finish off my last three things. And yeah, and then let's have a festive evening. I Yes, do sleep nice. <laughs> See you later. Right, new microphone again. Light on times everyone can see me if there's anybody here but i don't think anybody else can see me um to the shops we go i need some food i feel like poo today so i'm sorry this vlog has been poo i just noticed though as well <laughs> that's awful i had an emergency mince pie disaster in the car last night so i need to, of course like as you do as you all do <laughs> i need to hoover that when i get in right let's go hello I'm gonna have to be really, really quiet because everyone's in bed now. So I hope you can hear me. Yes, I'm wearing a face mask. Ha ha ha! Hello. I'm wearing a face mask. Um, of course. What else do you do at midnight? <laughs> um, but before I go to bed, I was like, I need to pump on my skin. It it feels. I need a pumper. <laughs> it feels angry and I need a pumper. Just excuse all the washing drying in the background, like, it is what it is. I, however, I thought I would hop on, um, I know this day has been pretty rubbish for a vlog, I'm really sorry, um, but this is real life and even like on the boring days, one, I'm just showing you what I'm doing in real life, which I guess is the whole, the scene of vlogging, uh, vlogging. <laughs> vlogging really and um, maybe some of you enjoy that i'm enjoying it i'm glad i'm documenting i'm glad i'm glad even on the boring days and secondly if it's a shorter vlog because it's a bit of a boring day i like that because it's just it is what it is that was the day and at least you're not getting bombarded by loads of pointless hours of video from me and um, yeah i'm still really enjoying it i hope you're enjoying it um, too if you are somewhat enjoying my vlogmas comment down below um I want to get all my vlogmas up, like, at least start doing them on time before Christmas, but we'll get there, it's been a year. So, anyway, go to the chase, I'm waffling on again. I didn't show you what I got in my little garden centre hall, um, so I thought, I thought I would show you that this evening. Oh, I also went to Aldi, and I treated myself. <laughs> right, okay, let's hop up here. So... On my secret, well, I've got my secret Santa things out here. Um, I'm still trying to get into the lip balm, then I can't open it. I don't know if it's meant because my nails are really short, but I'm so excited to try this human elderflower. That sounds so, 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 so lovely. Uh, so, saving this for a nice relaxing bath. I might actually do that this weekend. Um, side note again, look, I did what okay. Firstly, my nails are so atrocious, I need to redo them. Secondly, if you're still watching and you watched my first day of Vlogmas, Vlogmas Day 1, you will know, I did warn you, I often change subjects. I'm really sorry for that. Okay, back to the point in hand. <laughs> um, I'm saving this for a nice relaxing day. I might make that Sunday and I might have an evening of festivities and wrap all my Christmas presents for everyone. You know, just to help Santa out, you know, do a bit of wrapping for him. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I actually wanted to do that today and have a festive Friday, <laughs> um, but that definitely didn't happen. Today has been, I say, a little bit of a write-off. My body's just needed to catch up. It's, yeah, 
from everything and um, so it's not been a write off um, in a sense but yeah I wanted to do it today but I might save present wrapping for Sunday and have a nice bath with these so let's just pop these to the side so as you can see first of all you can see the bottom but hey um, it's so beautiful if anybody has been like in, to the northwest like Liverpool way um on the other side like the rural and um, there's a really lovely garden center in the village called put sunlight it's so beautiful so when i was in aldi sorry i'm just trying to be quiet when i was in aldi and um, the other week i saw these cookie cutters and i thought they were so cute like christmassy ones and i almost got them and i was like no do you know what because they're not that expensive like if i could i'm gonna wait and I can look on Etsy and get them from like a small business. Well, I saw this in the garden centre. It's only three pound, and um, so I decided to buy it. And um, because one, how cute. Two, of course, everybody needs a gingerbread cookie cutter. And three, it's from local garden centre, so I'm very happy with that one supporting them. And um, four, this is the excuse I need to bake gingerbread men, um, and that might just happen. I know Christmas is going to be precisely one week away now. Um, but yes, I still have plans to bake a candle. I'm flipping wild and I bloody try. <laughs> Let's go on there. And then lastly from the garden centre, it was a shopping trip to finish off last presents, which I got what I could there. Some things they didn't have, which I need to finish my orders for. Um, but I saw this beautiful lady. Can I show you her? So for the mess in the background. This beautiful, beautiful angel. I think I saw her when I first went with my mum. They had a few of these. And it was so sad. They've already started taking down some of their Christmas stuff. I was like, no way. That's heartbreaking. Um, let me put a pair on my nose. So a little bit better, maybe. Oh, no, the lights are not on. There you go. Um, I don't actually have an angel. I have a big fairy that I put um, on the big tree last year. Um, but I don't, I don't have an angel and like a, no, a normal sized one because my fairy is massive. Um, so I got her, she's my first angel, I've never had my own Christmas angel. We have my nan's angel and then I think my nan has another one as well that we have. I don't know if my mum has one, that's kind of like the one that we have up as like a family heirloom one. Um, but yeah, this is my first angel so I thought she would fit quite well excuse me <laughs> on my diddy itty bitty tree and um, so i need to pop her on there and then for my future trees so i'm really happy with her and then lastly i have been to aldi hang on let me just get comfy got my christmas socks on hey they're nice and cozy <laughs> let's grab these so i went to aldi and i saw these sets of christmas bedding so this is a cute one um with just like little people and doing christmas things like skiing getting christmas trees and snowballs and stuff and then deers and it's got a snowflake pattern on the other side in gray and then this one is kind of like a skiing ski resort one and um, one little fun cute things on oh i wonder if it's christmas tree on the other side or if that's the same side um no I, for a minute I panicked then and thought that was that one but the other way around I was like oh my goodness <laughs> um, but yeah like little ice skaters and skiers and little ski lodges and I just thought they were so cute they were only 9 99 which I mean like how can you resist it's quite the algae bargain <laughs> um, I really wanted to get I got them they only had double or king size but I've really been I've been really wanting um, to get some double Christmas bedding sets um, because I have Obviously, I just have a small bed, but I have a nice big double duvet, which is nice and toasty for the winter. And I made some Christmas bedding for it, which obviously I have to use in the future when I've got, like, my house and um, my own place where I've got my boob and, um, like, a nice big, nice big new bed. And so, yeah, I got these. I'm really excited to put them on. So, I don't know which one I'm going to put on for Christmas. I think I'm tempted to go with this one. I do like the skiing one as well, though. Oh, I'm just excited to try them both. I might do this one. I think I might go for this one. So yeah, I'm really excited to pop them on my bed. Obviously, I have my beautiful Christmas Girls one, which is a few years old now, but that's from Asda. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to pop these on. So there's my little haul of the day and yesterday from the garden centre. Um, yeah, oh, next advent calendar. Haven't done that one today. And today's advent calendar surprise is nyx and nyx pencil sharpener 
maybe not the most exciting but actually this is amazingly handy firstly if you don't have one of these already in your collection this is probably a really really good one to pop in the calendar because I of course I did not have a pencil sharpener for so many years and it was such a pain and um, I have a Barry M one but it has died a death it's fallen apart like broken and um, so I really really needed a new one because like when you're doing your makeup and you're just like oh damn I need to use something I need sharpening the last thing you want to do is go to the, like the bin and sharpen it um like the bin in the bathroom um so having the little like these makeup ones with the little pin sticker like, is sharpening is ideal but my Barry M1 um, is well and truly well used and like now and um, so I'm actually really really happy about that that's brilliant I'm so glad I got a new one and um, saves me having to get one else so that worked out very well so yeah I'm really excited when I opened the door back to the NYX advent calendar disaster there is there's still a lip liner floating around but it came from the left now there's only three doors left oh my gosh how crazy is that on my 12 days of christmas cal advent calendar but they're all on the right and this lip liner definitely fell from the left so unless my mum has popped it in the wrong place and it slipped out of there because remember if you watch she had to fix it i have to i had to take it to her and get her to fix it secretly because it broke well the whole advent calendar just kind of like it had a disaster <laughs> um so there could be a mystery lip liner floating around in there or eyeliner i don't know i didn't see the shade and i didn't see whether it was a lip liner or an eyeliner so when we get to number 12 We'll open it up and see if there's any surprises swimming around. I might have an empty door coming up and then I'll notice that one. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm going to go to sleep. So I will see you all, croaky voice. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.